This is Dr. Samina from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Ramchandra College of Engineering. Today, uh, I'm going to present uh, uh, a topic here on data representation. in computer system. So we all know that a computer can understand only the binary language which is in terms of zeros and ones but the data which is in the form of text or graphics, numbers, everything cannot be represented in a form of zeros and ones like the data as it becomes complex we cannot create in the form of binary so we have to convert in a compact notation which can be achieved with other binary uh, other number systems called octal or hexadecimal along with binary. So these two number systems are being introduced to represent the data in a compact notation. So before being uh, discussing how the data is exactly represented in a computer system, we first will look at the number system. So uh, we have four different types of number systems. One is a decimal, decimal number system, the other one is binary number system. Binary means two where we will be using only zeros and ones. Third one, the octal. In Latin octal means eight which uses unique numbers starting from zero to seven. And finally, the fourth number system called hexadecimal system, which uses 16. Hexa means in Greek, we call it as 6. And decimal means 10. So total 16 digits we use starting from 0, 1, 2, up to 9. The remaining 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we represent it with the help of characters A, B, C, D, E and F because 1 and 0, 10, 1, 1 looks like a binary. So we will be using A, B, C, D and E, F the 16 different digits to represent hexadecimal notation. We have seen we have four different types of number systems. Uh, the decimal number system is a number system where we will be using only the 10 different digits to represent the decimal number system which is, it is commonly used in our daily life to represent the things or objects. Similarly, uh, in computer we use these three different number systems binary, octal and hexadecimal. So let us see how these number systems can be uh, rep used to represent in a computer system but before that we will uh, just see how to convert this decimal number system into binary, octal and hexadecimal. So let us first see the conversions from decimal to binary octal hexadecimal, from binary to decimal octal hexadecimal and so on. So the first example we will take is uh, 38 to base 10 as a decimal number. This is the decimal number because if you observe you can see only, only the digits in between 0 and 9 are being used to represent the decimal. Decimal means base 10 the radix. <coughs> now we will be converting this into binary octal and hexadecimal. So here uh, we can have uh, we have 10 on the left side when you observe the decimal on the left side you can uh, divide divide it by 2 to get into to convert it into binary by 8 to get into octal and by 16 to get into hexadecimal format. Here we will follow division and reminder method. 
so first to convert it into binary the 38 we will divide it by 2 19 0 reminder 2 with 9 and 1 as reminder 2 4 1 2 2 0 2 1 0 which is equivalent to 1 double 0 1 1 0 to base 2 so from most significant bit to least significant bit we got 38 is equal to 1 double 0 double 1 0 which is a binary format so here we are using just ones and zeros to represent this 38 decimal similarly to get the octal format from the 38 we will divide by 8 so 38 4 8 32 6 is the reminder again divide so 0 and 4 so if you observe we get 46 to base 8 you can check whether the decimal whether the answer is result is equivalent to octal or not you observe the digits are 4 and 6 which is in the range of 0 and 7 equivalent to 38 to base 10 so 46 to base 8 is the octal format similarly to get into hexadecimal we will divide it by 16 to 16 32 6 with so 0 to base 2 that is equivalent to 26 to base 16 thus we can convert any number system into different other number systems in this way in the next example we will see octal number system to decimal binary and the hexadecimal